Um, so the next thing we're going to do is then um, download Hashcat. Um, in that segment where I was um, showing everyone around within Ubuntu, uh, I had already done so. We, we already downloaded the binaries from the website. Uh, you can download them. You just download the Hashcat binaries, and you can actually um, unpackage those or unarchive those from the, um, the GUI as well. But if you're, um, if you're unfamiliar with the command line, but I'm going to take care of this from the command line here. That's going to be the next step of this tutorial. So let's go ahead and begin. Uh, that by logging into that device, assuming it's ready. Very good. Okay. So uh, remember, when we downloaded that, it was Hashcat binaries. We're going to go to the downloads folder by changing directory. So go to change CD um, downloads, list the directory there, and we are going to um, unpack that Hashcat file there. And we do that by running, um, we have to install uh, sudo apt. If you haven't installed it already, sudo apt install p7zip. Okay. And then we are going to um, unpackage that there. So run sudo p7zip um, dash d hashcat. Uh, what is it? Hashcat dash five dash one, I'm sorry, dot one, dot one, dot zero, seven, Z. You can see I'm matching that. This might um, change if you're, um, if you've downloaded a newer version than Hashcat, but as of this tutorial, it's uh, Hashcat dash five, dot one, dot zero, dot seven. So let's run that. Try that again. Some reason I didn't copy that right. Yeah, I didn't. See, I, I didn't include that dot there. There we go. So that unpackages the file. So in order to um, let's verify that, let's uh, run ls. Okay, very good. So it's in blue there, as you can see. We've, we've successfully unpacked that hashcat folder. So the next thing we're going to do is run. Uh, we're going to um, access the directory by running cd hashcat 5.1. Okay, what's the directory? That's the contents there. So we're gonna um, copy those binaries into the user bin folder. Uh, so those binaries um, can run as an executable program within Ubuntu. So uh, let's just run this and see if it's if anything's in there yet. ls dash user forward slash bin forward slash grep it dash i hash. Nothing's there yet. Okay, so let's run uh, sudo we're going to copy the hashcat 64.bin. Uh, and then and do user, copy that into user bin. So again, copy that command. I would probably just go ahead and copy and paste it. But you see sudo cp hashcat 64.bin. Um, forward slash user forward slash bin and let's go ahead and make sure we have that forward slash on there okay so we've copied and pasted it into there then run sudo ln ls again i'm just going to copy and paste these this just takes a little bit more time to type this all out and i'm trying to type around a microphone which makes this especially more difficult and then sudo cp user bin so again we're just copying the binaries into the user bin folder that one next okay and then this last one here okay so we should be ready to go so in order to do that let's just do one quick thing here um, we're going to reboot one more time So, we've, so at this point, we've installed Hashcat um, and we've rebooted the computer. We're going to access Ubuntu here by SSH here within the next um, 60 seconds. But I would like to clarify, you could download Hashcat from the, from the Ubuntu repository. We're running sudo apt get install Hashcat. But uh, I find that downloading the most recent Hashcat from the Hashcat website um, has been less problematic. This one will probably 
um, download um, the most stable or, but in some cases, deprecated releases. So I, I would, um, again, download the binaries from the um, Hashcat website, but you are free to um, try sudo apt-get install Hashcat from the uh, Ubuntu repository. So let's go ahead and see if we can access that device again. There we go. Uh, okay. And we're in that device. Okay, so let's try to uh, run some uh, benchmarks here. So in order to do that, we would run sudo hashcat dash dash benchmark. We're testing. No, we're now testing Hashcat. Okay, so good. It's recognizing those onboard GPUs. Excellent. Okay, good. So that's 220 giga hash a second with MD5 algorithm. And let's let the cycle for a little bit. This is pretty fast. I mean, there are, again, there are eight GPUs on board uh, that are able to hash or um, uh, essentially decrypt um, the password hashes we will be feeding um, Hashcat here in a moment. So let's let it go. See in SHA-256. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, so that's 26,707 megahash seconds. So pretty fast. Okay, so I'm going to kill that now. I'm gonna run control C. And that essentially killed the um, hash cat there. 